What is gospeling? Well, we know what the gospel is. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. What he has done for us in his life, death, resurrection, and ascension. But what is gospeling? Well, gospeling is a word that we've kind of coined here at Sacred City. And all it means is it's the art of applying the gospel to a person's life. Now I say it's art because it's not really a science. We are complex creatures made in the image of God. We have head, a head, we think, we have a heart, we love, we have hands, we do. And everything we do in life is a complex web of those things. Certain thoughts lead me to do certain things. Certain feelings lead me to do certain things. I've got experiences from my past. Uh, my family of origin has influenced me in some way. I've got bad theology sometimes. I've got all kinds of stuff going on in my heart. So it's not really easy to discern why I do a certain thing. Maybe I'm having issues in my marriage. Maybe I'm having issues in my parenting or, or my ability to keep a job. And it's not easy just to put a, my finger on one thing. Why? Because we're complex creatures. And so gospeling is the art of applying the gospel to a person's life. And when we say life, we mean his whole life, to his thinking, the way that he's processed past events, childhood trauma, different things in his life. Sometimes our interpretation of events are influencing the way that we live. And sometimes we need to uh, reorder or reinterpret those experiences in light of the gospel, in light of the world, the, the work that Jesus has done for us. So maybe I was abandoned by a father. And so I treat all men that way, I, or I treat all authority like they're going to abandon me. Maybe even I treat God like he's going to abandon me. Well, I need good theology, right? I need people to speak into my life and say, no, God will never leave us or forsake us. God gave up his own son to purchase you as his own and to adopt you into your family. And so there's one specific wound from, my, from a person's life that you can apply the gospel to. And so gospeling really tries to get the gospel of Jesus Christ into every single nook and cranny of a person's life. Now, gospeling is not, you know, witch hunting for idols or anything like that. Um, sometimes a person just needs you to pray for them. And sometimes a person just needs to be told, here's what you need to do. But many times when, the, when a problem is ongoing and a person is stuck in a pattern of behavior that they don't understand and they can't get themselves out, the answer is to apply the truths of the gospel to some wound, to some need, to some belief that's deeply embedded in their heart and life to uproot wrong thinking, to uproot bad theology, to uproot negative emotions or negative reactions to certain uh, situations in life, and to re reinterpret those past situations so they can live in light of the freedom that Jesus Christ has purchased for them. So to put things really simple, gospeling is applying the gospel to the entirety of a person's life, taking into account their thoughts, their feelings, and their behavior.